you watching your health and stamina? Remember not to push yourself too hard. Uh-huh. on myself so people won't think I've lost my edge. Nicely done. Thank you. So this is where the stair. We're doing well. Let's keep up the pace. It's a one-way teleporter, but there's no need to head back yet. Excellent. Looks like we... Great! I think I've finally gotten used to the atmosphere here. I have to 
do this. Yes, looks like it's worth Not bad. I appreciate Let's keep going. It's one of those Shadow up ahead. We taking it out? We found the stairs. Let's go. Oh, there's a treasure chest! Considering how quiet and spacious this place is, it might be a decent training spot. If it weren't so unsettling. This would be a fight worth a... There's a 
treasure chest. Who knew you could buy weapons from the police station? But I guess that's a good thing for us. Shadows. That just means I'll always have a sparring partner. It's unfortunate the only way through all these narrow passages and staircases is on foot.
Please. Hold on. at a time. field has expanded a little. Maybe I've gotten used to this. if you're dedicated to training. Then the only one hurting is your opponent. That jazz looks like it's worth opening. We 
heading up these stairs? There's no room for carelessness. Stay alert. Why don't we go to karaoke sometime? It'd be a fun way to relieve stress. I've heard that the word karaoke is derived from the Japanese word for empty and an English loan word for orchestra. Hey, there's a trap. There's a treasure. So this is where the stairs were. I can't believe this. Be a fight worth our while. There's a powerful enemy. Treasure chest. Oh, stairs. Oh, there's a treasure chest. I shouldn't say this out. The enemy's nearby. Hmm? There's a shadow. Hey, there's a trap. Found the stairs.
frozen. Now's your chance. Who don't come out here? Should I go jogging during the dark hour instead? What does everyone else do? Since there's no electricity, I'd probably just go to bed. Careful, the enemy's nearby. This floor has been fully explored now. Good work, everyone. We're making progress. Let's head to the next floor.
That chest doesn't look like the others. Hey, there's a treasure... Shadow. We gotta keep moving. There's a treasure chest. A shadow. What will you do? There's more to building muscle than working out. You need a proper diet and rest, too. There's a shadow. Oh, stairs! Treasure chest! Hey, that look. Shadow spotted. What's the plan? Found the stairs! What's the plan? Doesn't that one look pretty tough? I'm glad I broke... We found the stairs. Stronger than your opponent, it's normal for them to appear smaller to you. Best to stay on your toes here. Being well equipped is a factor of combat. Hey, 
there's a treasure chest. Hmm, there's a chest. Regardless of what day it is, it's similar to the entrance then. To think there'd be this type of floor here and there. This is... Morning. Are my requests. Let's hear the result. Wonderful. Let's hear the result. Let's hear the result. Let's hear the result. Very well then. By all means.
Very well. Keep running into you at the weirdest times. You remembered what we talked about last time. Nothing gets past you, eh? So, yeah. I just got back from the hospital. They had the results from my last exam. And, well, I... Ah! You gotta be kidding! Why can't I stand up? Thanks. Funny, huh? All from just crouching down to tie my shoes. The thing you were around. If it were anyone else, the rest of the team would have found out. Thanks, man. I'm really grateful to have you as a friend. train by myself. Even if practice is over, can't skip out on training. Big meat's not that far off. You're heading home, right? Then we'll train together next time. Take it easy. Sorry, man, but I've got to pass this time. I'm just so torn. I really do want to hang out with you. No, no time for ramen today. I gotta go check out that cram school. I mean, getting into college is pretty important, don't you think? You think about the future too, right? Oh, dude. 
didn't know you were so serious about your future. I never really thought about my future until Emmy Reed told me I should. She said I'd end up a loser if I didn't. But the future's a long way off. I mean, I still have to go to college first, right? Apparently, a bunch of Emmy Reed's students go to good colleges. She must be thinking about our future together. You ought to think about your future too, man. I'd hate to see you end up becoming a loser, you know? That's why we gotta work our asses off for our futures. Later, I'm heading to cram school. Welcome back. With that, we have all the second years present. So, what exactly are we all here for? Ah, I had planned to give Yamagishi a tour of the dorm, but I realized I never actually showed it properly to any of you since you moved in. I apologize for that. I'd like to take this opportunity to make it up to you all. Uh, you've kind of been living here all this time. I think we get the picture by now. <laughs> if any one of us needs it, it's you. You do realize if you screw around and break something, you'll get us all in trouble, right? Oh, come on! I'm getting by just fine. In fact, I know the place so well, I could give you a tour myself. <laughs> you'll make a great assistant, then. Humor me a bit, won't you? With the increase in members, I'd like to expand our access to facilities. Wait, new stuff? Sweet! So what, are we gonna get, like, hot springs? Maybe a casino? You are so stupid. We'll just have to see now, won't we? With that, let's begin. Yamagishi, follow me. Oh, okay. Thank you for setting this up for me. This is the communal kitchen. Oh, looks so clean now. I didn't realize the kitchen was so big. I was planning to do this earlier, but with April's shadow attack and ensuing investigation, I just couldn't find time. It should be far more accessible now. You're free to use any of the kitchenware here. Do you all cook your own meals? I've seen Akihiko in here from time to time. As for myself, I can't say I do. We used to have someone who cooked with some frequency, but... I'm gonna think of it. I only ever come here to get hot water. What about you? I guess if you're only cooking for one, it doesn't really save that much money anyway. It's hard to use up everything you buy before it goes bad. Might as well just eat out at that point. Wow, Yukari-chan. Does that mean you know how to cook? Huh? Oh, I mean, I can do it, I guess. But I'm no chef. It's been a while, and I've had my fair share of embarrassments. But with a kitchen this big, I think a couple people could work together in here. We can have the work, but double the flavor, you know? I should try it next time. Moving right along, then. Here's where we all hang! This is the lounge. Well, I suppose it requires no further explanation. Wait, is that a DVD player? When did that get here? Oh, that's mine. I brought it with me from home. It's a bit of an old model, though. It's no problem at all. It was a broken one to begin with, but I was able to fix it. So I hoped you all might get some use out of it. The sofas here are pretty comfy. It'd be a perfect place to sit back and watch. Oh, maybe this would be a good place. There are some movies I've been wanting to see, but I'd rather not watch them alone. What's this? Is Yucatan afraid to watch horror flicks? It's quite a shocker to see your soft side. Hard to imagine you're even the same person. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Uh, 
Wait, what did I say? I take it back. I didn't mean anything by it, I swear. You've got some nerve, Junpei. You better watch your back next time we go to Tartarus. Um, Yukari-chan, you kind of scaring me. That wraps up the first floor. Let's move up to the next. Oh, by the way, Kirijo-senpai, are we allowed to borrow those books on the shelf in the back? Of course. Those books were donated by residents of the dorm. I peruse them from time to time myself. This area is pretty sweet. Nice and quiet. And let me tell you, those chairs are mwah, soft. When I cozy up here with a good book, I end up reading way late into the night. All you read is manga. <laughs> I think manga is a respectable form of literature. Maybe I'll try reading here as well. People are always coming and going from the lounge, so I could see this place being less distracting. Please, utilize it however you'd like. Any piece of literature is a means of broadening one's horizons. Aye, aye, Captain! Just one thing, Iori. When you finish a manga, put it back on the shelf. I don't want to see them piled up on tables and chairs. Aye, aye. Jeez. Keep an eye on Junpei so he doesn't make a mess of this place. Let's keep moving on, then. We'd been keeping the rooftop off-limits, but recently decided to open it up. The chairman wanted to start a small garden here. Wow! I had no idea there was something like this up here. Is it for growing vegetables? Oh boy, I can hear him now. Eat your veggies. Peas. That sounds about right. With a terrible smirk plastered on his face. I hear you're the one taking care of it. Looks like it's shaping up quite nicely. The chairman was right to put you in charge. Uh, you okay doing this all on your own? Why don't you help him out, Junpei? It's not like you've got anything better to do. Yeah, I definitely saw that one coming. But I guess it does look kind of fun. Maybe all the vitamins from the veggies will make my skin all as silky smooth. <laughs> that would be a sight to see. The more time and care you put into this kind of work, the better the results. Cooperating with someone on this may be worth your time. I might be a bit interested as well. That wraps up this area. Let's head back down. And that concludes the tour. Being shown around kind of makes me feel more motivated to make use of those places. Did you get all that? Anything you're still unclear about? Good to hear. I hope your stay here is an enjoyable one. As long as all of us remain considerate, the dorm will continue to be a comfortable living space for all. If there's anything you'd like to do here, you may want to invite the others to join you. Yeah, we're all living under the same roof after all. Better make the most of it. I've never really done anything like this before, so I'm a little nervous. I'll try my best to enjoy myself here with you all. This may be coming a little late for most of you, but welcome to the dorm.
growing plants. Oh, should we be measuring the pH of the soil or monitoring how much sunlight they're getting? Oh, um, yes. I looked up a bunch of stuff online. I thought it might be helpful. I do like flowers and stuff, but I've never really worked with them outside of arrangements. I've always wanted to try putting in the work to grow some, though. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to go on about myself like that. Shall we keep working for a bit more? I'll go get some water. This looks good. Do you think you could invite me when you tend the plants again? I'll do more research so I'm in a better position to help out next time too.
way. You're not a member of this club, are you? Do you know him, Yamagishi-san? Oh, yes. He's the one I was just telling you about. Ah, so he's the one, huh? I've heard a lot about you from Yamagishi-san. We're looking for new members to join our club, so I mentioned you. I'm really happy you decided to stop by on your own. And, um, I'm Keisuke Hiraga. Pleased to meet you. He should be the one introducing himself to you, Keisuke-senpai. You're the club leader, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Still the same as ever. Yamagishi-san is back, and now we're getting a new member. Maybe I should be a little more active here. Wait, aren't you a third year, Hiroga-senpai? Don't you have entrance exams coming up? No, I, uh... Don't worry about that. Hey, do you have an eye for art? <laughs> then maybe we'll get to learn a thing or two from you. Meeting you like this can't be just a coincidence. It must be fate. Let's get you signed up, shall we? I 
am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the fortune archive. Just so you know, only club members are allowed to enter this room. So don't forget to turn in your registration form. The art club meets on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. But we don't meet on the days leading up to exams. We should be studying then anyway. You don't have to come every day, so just try to show up every now and then. Who would have thought we'd end up in the same club? Okay, I'll get this all processed. Looking forward to painting with you. Back. Um, by the way, so dance. If you wanna go ahead, free to do whatever I'm chilling on my bed. I'm not in my biz, so mind your own biz. By the way, whatever like is, yes. This is Elizabeth. There is something I wish to discuss with you, so please come to the Velvet Room post-haste. I believe this matter is of great import to you. I shall be anticipating your arrival. for you. Looking forward. Here are my requests. Very well. Hey. Uh-huh. 
wrap up for today. Good work, everyone. Whew, all done. All right, let's clean up and go home. about you should really figure out what's causing the pain it might lead to serious complications down the road does anywhere else hurt are your nose and throat all right does it feel like your head is in a vice oh boy here we go Keisuke Senpai strikes again Yamagishi-san won't be going anywhere for a while someone isn't feeling well, he always tries to figure out what's wrong. And it doesn't matter when or where. Once he starts, it takes forever. Keisuke Senpai's dad's the director of a big hospital, and he's an only child. I guess he just can't stand to see people suffer. I bet he'll end up going to medical school. So the pain's originating from the back of your head? Could you turn around, please? Ah, don't worry. It's just a chronic tension type headache. Most likely the result of stress. You might be spending too much time in front of the computer. Try to get outside and exercise more. It must seem funny to get medical advice from the head of the art club. I was worried I'd come down with the flu or something. In that case, I can do a more thorough check. Could you remove your shirt? Also, open your mouth and stick out your tongue. What? Hey, I'm fine. Besides, our dorm isn't far, so he can accompany me back. Uh, sorry, sorry. Wait, you two live in the dorms? I guess I see it in Yamagishi-san. She seems like the well-adjusted type. I bet you're a great cook. Do you take care of the laundry? Is living alone hard? Sorry, Yamagishi-san. I forgot about your condition. I know it's close, but I don't think you should be walking home. Why don't I call you a taxi? Though a bumpy taxi ride might make your headache worse. Maybe a limousine would be better. Uh, that's okay. I'm fine, really. Day, then. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt while you were reading. If you don't mind, can you let me know your thoughts once you finish it? Oh, I didn't notice the time. How far did you get? Wow, you read that much already? Huh? I made a lot of progress too. Was I more focused than usual or...
Um, if you don't mind, do you think we could read here again sometime? I used to think reading was only a solo activity, but now I think reading with someone helps me immerse myself deeper into the fictional world. I'm here whenever I can spare the time, so come by if you can. I'd be happy to have you. All right, that's enough for today. Good night. Sorry you went out of your way to stop by, but it was a quick meeting. Everyone left already. It's nice not having those hyenas around. There's something I want to take care of before I go home. It's that cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom. I have to hurry and narrow down my suspects. So, as you can see, we can't exactly hold a meeting right now. You can leave if you want. If you're not in a hurry, can you spare a few minutes? I'd like to share something. A man without position, honor, or education? What does he cling to as he struggles through life? Sincerity, a man once told me. Do you want to know what happened to that man? Well... TV anchor woman was injured on the job while reporting on a story. The TV station executives deemed it an unfortunate accident. But when a magazine caught wind that they were hiding something, the execs threw the writer under the bus. They said it was the writer who covered up the truth. They turned him into a scapegoat. And now, that man is blacklisted from the TV industry. His life's calling. The same man who taught me the meaning of sincerity. In today's society, the weak are preyed upon by the strong. You can't survive on sincerity alone. As for me, I want to lead an organization that fosters strength. And to do that, order is essential if I want to keep those with power in check. Well... Seems like a good spot to call it a day. Shall we head out together?
Do you have a moment? I was just told that the chairman will be stopping by this evening. When you get back, make sure to come to the fourth floor. Oh, okay then. I'll see you all later. Talk about short notice. Maybe he wants to tell us a new joke. Who knows, but I am a little curious. Guess I'll head straight back today. Koro-chan, shake! <laughs> oh, he did it! What a smart dog! Oh, welcome back! Hey there! He was passing by just a little while ago. Go on, Koro-chan. You know how to say hi, right? His name's Koromaru. I've seen him sitting by the steps of the shrine. Oh, this dog still goes on walks all by himself? What do you mean? He used to belong to the priest at the Naganaki Shrine. Every afternoon, the two of them went this way for a walk. So that's what he was doing here. That is, until the priest passed away. He passed away? Oh, you haven't heard the story? I think it was about six months ago. The priest was hit by a car while walking his dog. He didn't survive. Ever since then, that dog has continued to go on walks, always stopping to sit by the site of the accident. But he refuses to let anyone take him in. Why, just the other day, my son... Oh my goodness, look at the time. I must be going. My son will be home soon. Oh, you're such a loyal dog. Good boy. Huh? Is he...? What's wrong? Uh, oh, nothing. Sorry. More importantly, isn't the chairman coming today? We should probably go get ready. Yeah, you're right. See you later, Koro-chan! I gathered you all here because I wanted to let you know how my research has been going. It concerns the shadows that have been appearing during full moons. Now, I want you to listen closely. It might be hard to follow. Shadows can be divided into 12 categories, according to their characteristics. This we've known for a while. We can think of it like their class or order. I've classified the special shadows we've seen so far, and, well, it's simply fascinating. Why are you so excited about it? So... Ah, <laughs> right. Those four shadows belong to categories one through four in order of their appearance. They may have looked different than the more common ones, but the classification scheme still applies. And that's something we should be excited about? Oh, I get it. There are 12 in all, and eight we haven't seen yet. That's exactly right, Yamagishi-kun. You're quite sharp. Oh, uh, okay, but what are they after? That's a good question, and that's what we haven't figured out yet. Their motive. They don't kill their prey. They feed on their minds. Now, it could be considered predation, but is it really? Is there actually an underlying intent behind their behavior? The purpose of the shadows as a whole. That's what we need to consider. This is interesting. But no matter what their intent, we still have to beat the rest of them. I agree. That's about all we can do at this point. Eight more, huh? Lucky us. According to the data, each one has been stronger than the last. That means we better start training harder. We'll manage. We've got plenty of time. 
But why does Tartarus even exist in the first place? Insist, I'll give you my autograph. It's always a pleasure to meet a fan. Don't you have a television? Are you living in the Stone Age? A barbaric. I'm sure you've seen the home shopping program, Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. Yes? Allow me to introduce myself. That's right, I'm Tanaka himself. Surely you've heard the name. I'm afraid I can't offer any returns on your 40,000 yen, but I've autographed my business card for you. Hold on to that. It'll be worth a pretty penny in a year or so. Ah, oh, and with that, <laughs> I must be going. Doesn't he realize he's in the presence of a star? Time is money, especially mine. Should have squeezed a few more payments out of them. <coughs> what do you want? Quit disturbing me. Get out of here. Shoo. You? You overheard me talking to myself just now, didn't you? You'll forget it ever happened if you know what's good for you. I belong to a powerful talent agency. I'm practically a celebrity. I have an image to maintain. Don't even think about telling someone that I took your money or called you a little brat, capiche? Blind obedience has a price attached. Better learn that before it bites you, kiddo. Oh! Silly me. I've let you in on my little secret, haven't I? <laughs> uh, don't tell anyone, okay? Please, I'll lick your shoes clean if you want me to. D really? Did you promise? You better be ready to cross your heart and hope to die if you're lying to me. A verbal agreement is a form of contract. And if you breach it, I'll sue your pants off. I've got your adorable little face etched into my memory. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a person. 
Zelda of the Devil Archive. You're a diamond in the rough, my boy. All you need is a little polishing, you'll sparkle. I often take my breaks here. I'd be happy to mold your young mind whenever you wish. So... Yeah.
from Cause. It's for you, but he wanted you to know ASAP, so he texted me, too. It says, come to Iwatodai Station. What is that guy thinking? He's get practice today, too. Whoa, where's the fire? Yuko was pissed, wasn't she? I've missed a lot of practice lately. I should have told you last time, but... My x-ray results? The muscles and tendons around my knee are inflamed. The doctor said if I keep pushing it that I... won't be able to walk anymore. He said I strained it too hard during practice. So freaking stupid. I want to win, so I have to practice. Yeah, you're right. Every minute, every second counts. I can't waste any more time. I promised I'd win at next year's meet and become the number one athlete in Japan. Well, because it's not just about me. My nephew got into an accident and his legs got messed up. And now, he can't walk. But if he goes through rehab, he might be able to recover. He says the rehab hurts too much though, so he doesn't want to do it. He's only five, you know? There's still so much he hasn't done yet. So I made a deal with my nephew. Just, uh, don't laugh, okay? If I become number one in Japan, he'll agree to go through rehab. That's why I have to win this meet, so I can make it to nationals. Thanks for caring, man. But I can't worry about that now. Sorry for all the trouble I've caused. And for all the depressing conversations. It's really tough keeping it all bottled up. You were the only one I could talk to. Yuko has good instincts when it comes to this stuff, so she might say something to you. Tell her to come talk to me if she does. I don't want to drag you into this any deeper. Yes. 
see. This way, officer. By the time I noticed the door was halfway open, his room was already like this. I've left the place untouched as you requested. Hmm. Whose room is this? Junpei Iori, a second year student. I've been trying to reach him on his cell phone, but he hasn't responded in the last half hour. <sighs> it was careless of me to let my guard down. The storm was attacked once in the past. Perhaps Iori himself is at fault here. However, if harm has fallen upon him as head of seas, I am accountable. I hate to say it, Kirijo-san, but he most likely... Huh? Kirijo-senpai? What the hell? Kurosawa-san? What's going on here? Iori? Where were you? I've been trying to get a hold of you. Huh? Oh, uh, it was hot, and the AC was busted, so I went to the manga cafe. But I fell asleep. Well, I'm just glad you're safe. So if it wasn't an attack, then it must have been theft. Why would the burglar target this room? Burglar? What else could it be? Someone clearly ransacked the place looking for something. Vandalizing a school dorm. When I find out who did this, I'll see to it that they face a swift execution. Well, son, sounds like you've got a death sentence. How about it, Iori? Was this room really vandalized? Ah, uh, well, this is how my room always looks? What? But, I mean, you can't possibly live like this, can you? What about the door? It was open. Oh, that? I was just airing the place out while I was gone. No one we don't know ever comes around, so... Huh. I think this case is closed. May I get back to my duties now, young lady? Oh, uh, yes. I'm sorry you had to witness something so disgraceful. I apologize for all this. It seems I grew up more sheltered than I realized. You're not even gonna yell at me? And what's the deal with calling the cops over a messy room anyway? What the hell did I do to deserve this? Hey, wait. I drew that worst luck fortune on the way back. pretty old, so the art's got a retro feel to it. Guess it's supposed to feel nostalgic, right? The main character's got thick seaweed eyebrows. Hey, what do you think of these old classics? Because of the seaweed? Because uh, the eyebrows look like seaweed? And, and seaweed tastes good? Why are you making me explain it? Oh crap, gotta keep going. Bottom of the night. Two outs, bases loaded, and a home run will change it all. Oh, a hero's in a real pickle. Hey, you better read faster or else I'm gonna spoil it for you. Damn, this is where it ends? I should have borrowed more volumes. It gets even crazier than this if I remember right. Man, the main character's rival? I'll 
I'll borrow the rest of them so we can pick it up next time. Well, I'm gonna hit the hay. surprised truth be told we all visit this world every night what are you saying and who the hell are you <sighs> didn't mommy teach you any manners you haven't even introduced yourself come on take a look name address age etc this is you right Where did you get this? Somebody's got a grudge against you. And they asked us to get revenge. Revenge? What kind of bullshit is this? Who put you up to this? Can't tell you. We're professionals. Professionals? Oh shit. Those rumors online. You're saying they're true? For real? Shall we get this over with now? Hey, wait! I haven't done anything! Why me? What'd I do? That is not our concern. Your notion of right and wrong is irrelevant. My client's wishes are all that matter. People hear what they choose to hear, and believe what they want to believe. No! Stay away! Get away from me! You squeal most magnificently. Such raw emotion. He's not dead. Doesn't matter. We held up our end of the bargain. Besides, tomorrow this will just seem like some random crime. Well, if there's nothing else. I'm feeling rather tired. Have you heard? Attention, please. I have an announcement regarding the recent Bay Area Art Contest. Hiraga-kun's painting was selected for consideration in the final round. Huh? Wow! Your piece was really good. You might even win. Please, it's all thanks to my paintbrush. I was lucky to use my dad's quality raccoon hair one. It really helped apply the paint to the canvas. So, I'm sure that's the only reason the judges even noticed. Thank you. But I've only been painting for about two years now. So I never imagined my piece would go so far. 
You should have more confidence in yourself. You've been practicing so hard. He's right. Everyone knows how late you stay. Thanks, guys. But I should be supporting all of you, not the other way around. I'm sorry. I should be setting a better example for new members like you. I may not be much of an artist or a leader, but I hope we can keep working to improve our skills together. I've come this far. I might as well continue this for as long as I can. Oh, look at the time. Time to head home, everyone. How do I convince him? Why am I... Uh, I feel... kind of weak. Your breathing is impaired, and your lips are pale. Did you get enough sleep last night? And what do you usually have for lunch? Uh, now that I think about it, I... I didn't eat breakfast today. Mm-hmm. I see. Just as I thought. Looks like anemia. Probably from an unbalanced diet. It must be all the fast food. I recommend adding more shellfish to your diet like oyster and abalone. They're packed with iron and easy to cook. Don't call me that. This is just common sense. Being the son of a doctor doesn't have anything to do with it. I'll take him to the nurse's office. You guys should head on home. Hi, how are you today? Just one? I'll have what he's after. Hmm? Coming right up. One house special. Don't you get sick of eating the same thing all the time? Shut up. You're the one always eating that protein shit. <laughs> Here you go. One house special. Uh, be careful. It's hot. So, you still haven't made up your mind? Is that what this is about? We've got four new members this year. Things have changed quite a bit since you left. We're more aggressive now. Not interested. Think about it, Shinji. Don't let your power go to waste. My power ain't worth shit. Shinji. I made up my mind a long time ago. I ain't going back. You have to let the past go. What's done is done. It's time you moved on. <laughs> you should talk. What? Face it. You're no different than me. Uh, hey, Shinji!